Hello again. This is going to be on the Polaroid IS-048 underwater uh, waterproof camera and it's going to be how to transfer files from the camera to video on a computer so that you can see how it's done. First off, you un open up the battery place and there, uh, your USB port you plug into it. Second off, I have this on a big screen so that it can be seen better. If you go over to okay, it's not showing up. It will make a noise to know that it's plugged in. Hold on a second. One thing I forgot. You have to turn it on and you have to see that screen. Once you see that screen... I made a comment one time about setting the camera on 50 hertz to 60 hertz. Well, that little flickering you're seeing is because of that. Disregard it. But if you come over here, you'll see USB drive E. Click on that. The only file that should show up is DKIM. DKIM stands for Digital Camera Image. You click on that. and it will open up in my case four pictures and three videos all of these are coming from the camera this is the first image second image third image and now the video oh fourth image and now the videos and the reason why I say now the videos, because if you take a look down here, it has changed to a player. You're also going to notice that, as I said earlier, you can't hear anything because the camera has no speaker. Well, I have a speaker here. Okay, here we are taking an audio and visual picture, or audio and visual video, and showing you about the zoom in. Zoom out characteristics of this camera. As I said, anybody who says this is just a Tipo Depot camera is incredibly wrong. That time you actually heard the audio. What we're going to do is go up here and X out of it. Then we're going to left click and drag. Right click and copy, go over to videos, right click, and paste. Then we're going to go back over there, first off let's go do a double check. videos there they are all the pictures and the two videos and that's in the computer we go down here to the USB drive and we do this again left click drag right click we're going to delete my way of doing this is telling people you do not delete a video until you've moved it over so never select cut now I'm on the computer as far as the camera goes okay here we are taking an audio and visual picture or audio and visual video that's just to show they did in fact transfer over 
they are on the computer itself. Once I unplug the camera, the, ca the SD card in the camera will in fact be empty. Everything is now on the computer itself. We will now go to the camera and that screen will disappear. You put the battery cover back on and turn the camera back on. And camera's back on. So we will turn the camera off. And that is the end of that video. And there are the pictures on the computer. Talk to you later.